Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do a scrapbook page uh, introducing a new ba newborn baby. Um, some of you may know um, I've got a great nephew. I've got five nephews and one great nephew and two more great nephews on the way. So I'm trying to start working on books for the great nephews. And, um, so, anyways, with that being said, we are going to get busy. And I am using Creative Memories album pages. And, um, all of, all this stuff has came off of Cricut that I've cut out. I've cut everything out ready. It's all ready to go. Um, it's hot. Here. But anyways, I've got the AC off. We maybe it's not making so much racket. But I am using art glitter glue. Well, I say I am as soon as I find it. That's the art glitter glue. And I'm using green and yellow and blue cardstock, and that's all I'm using on this layout. And I hope I hope somebody gets inspired. I am putting a border on this side of my page, on my right side, and um, I'm going to just glue it down. And I've cut all this out already. The, uh, the blue is two inches and the white is one and three quarters. If anybody wants to know the measurements. And I will not be put, putting a picture on here because of privacy. At, I mean, I, with being, being just out of respect for my nephew and his wife. <coughs> and the baby. I mean... That's just me. I don't think baby should be on on the internet. I'm just gonna trim that off a little. Okay. Now I cut out this box. Um alphabet box and it says boy and I'm going to just glue it down and I'm just kind of gluing it And to me, this is not a really a complicated, I mean, layout. If you want this fall, um, I can make it available to you. Just let me know, and I will be more than glad to. I need... And these little quick sticks from We Are Memory. It's wonderful on this layout. And this is just the inside of the O. And then I've got the inside of the B. And I'm just putting a little dab of glue here. If you've got a stickle maker, use it on this because it would be easier. I'm out of the stickle maker tape. I didn't realize it until I started looking and getting everything ready to do it. Okay, I cut out a green rattle and I'm taking my, and I'm cutting this in half with my little paper trimmer. And I am not 
sponsored. I'm not affiliated with Creative Memories at all. I do like some of their products. But other than that, that's all, all it is. And uh, I'm going to just glue this on to the portal. Like so. And then I'm going to glue the other half down, down here. going to put on uh, introducing and I'm going to use a ruler and I'm using my Tim Holtz ruler and I'm just going to line this up and as I said I didn't realize I was out of in my chair. Okay. I have got an eye message. Oh, wait. I think I found it. Anyways, I'm going to just layer my lettering to get an idea of what, how I want it. Before I glue it. Do you see? And like I said, I cut all this out with the Cricut. Um, And I do have it on fall. I mean, I did save it. So if you want a copy of it, uh, just send me an email at Angie's Creative Studio at gmail.com. And I'll be more than glad to share it with you. Okay. That looks like I want it. Now I'm going to use this pickle apple. And I'm just going to glue, glue it with the arc little glue. I make a mess.
So would y'all like to see how I do this album? If you do, leave me a comment below this video. And we'll see what we can do. This is about the third time I done this layout before I got it like I wanted it. I do. I really tried to get it right the first time, but sometimes it just don't happen. Oh, shit. I need a new one of these. This one's all dried up. Mm that being done, I am bringing in my little die cuts, and like I said, I cut all this out with a Cricut, and I'm just going in through here, picking out what I'm wanting. I'm debating on what I want. Yes. And I cut out probably more than I needed to. As usual. Um, but I'm thinking I can use them for something else later on. Or use them on into the book. I'm just going to stick this all back in this little container. And then I'm just going to glue all these down. And like I said, if I had my stickle maple tape, I would use it. Trust me. It would make my life a little bit easier. And you can place this anywhere you would like. I mean, you don't have to do anything like I do. You can use different color. I mean, you can use pink instead of bl the blue for this. Um, I just, we just don't have corners in my family. Like I said, I'm just barely putting glue on these.
Now, with that all being said, I am taking some green and blue. And I'm taking a, a storm handheld punch. And I'm just going to cut out or punch out some stones. for this next idea. And I'm just using my scraps that I had left over. And I may cut way too many. If I do, I'll just stick them in a little baggie and use them for something else. I may not cut enough. Who knows? And I am just going to put like a scar of glue on my table. Or on my paper. Not on my layout. Just on my paper that I'm working off of. Well, I can just dip these stones in here. <sighs> and I am going to do my best and line these up. I'm going to start with the green one. And I'm going to put it right here at the edge. And then I'm going to do blue. See? And I'm getting way too much glue. And like I said, this would be easier if you had the uh, stickle maker tape. And I'm just going to go up the side of just where the block is with these. This may not be straight. I ain't promising nothing today. I didn't even get glue on it. I ain't staying. Yes, Mr. Jess. And yes, I got dogs in my lap. And this is why I said this little pickle apple would be great for this. For quick stick. If you've got, use what you got. And if you don't have one and you've got, um, resist, uh, re resist, um, repositional glue, you can make one with, just with a pencil. And I've done that too. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom of this. Be still, dogs. And for the ones that don't know, I do have twin nephews. And both of their wives is pregnant at the time. And this is one of the twins is babies already um, 
Finn is a, a year old now. And like I said, I'm not putting pictures of him on the internet. Uh, because of just privacy. I mean, if they do it, that's one thing. But I'm a, I'm a great aunt. And I respect them. I respect that. I don't have the permission to do it. I mean, I'm sure they give it to me, but I just seem not to have it. And, you know, that's something that needs to, I mean, everybody needs to be cautious of. I mean, we live in a real, real state anymore. I mean, a real place. Just crazy. And I know that. And that's why I'm the way I am about a lot of stuff. And, um, as you can see, I've cut this out a few times. And I put Finn big one, and then the middle name and the last name small one. And I just cut these letters out with the Cricut. Like I said, this is a whole layout done with the Cricut. Uh, you can do, use stickers if you've got them. I don't buy stickers. Or, I buy stickers, but I don't buy the little stickers because of the fact that you never have what you need. And I just seem to cut, I mean, I have just as good luck of cutting them as I can cut the ones I need and go on. And now I'm just going to place his name on here. Now I'm going to put Finn on the side. name and last name down here. I'm back. Sorry about that. My husband called. Okay. I'm putting uh, Taylor Scott on the bottom. Hopefully I got enough room for all of it. Okay, I like that. What do y'all think? Does that look okay? Yeah, buddy. Okay, now I'm going to glue his name down. Since I've got it. Uh, like I want it. 
And that's another thing, using lettering without being stickers. You don't have to, you can put it down and then check it. My husband may call me back. I don't know. Before I get this done. But I will try to get this done before he calls. And, um, Taylor is his dad's middle name. And Taylor was my, my grandma, uh, maiden name. And, um, that's how they used it. And yes, I know I'm quiet today. I'm thinking. Well, I guess I better put this O on here. And Scott is my maiden name. If it may needs to know, wants to know. <laughs> You can put mats on this, photo mats, or you can just leave it and just put your photo. I think I am going to put um, photo mat, uh, mats on here. And I'm just going to, and I'm using a 5 by no, 4 by 6 photo for this. So, and I am going to just stagger this and then I'm going to I'll use the uh, and I'm, I'll just use the back of the picture of how I'm going to mount it I'm going to just melt it like so. And this green is going to hang on. I hope y'all enjoyed this short video. And thank you for joining us. And give us a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments. 
or email me at Angie's Creative Studio at gmail.com if you want this uh, fall. Now, the uh, name is not on the fall, just the introduction and all of my die cuts is these little stars eight but you can do the little stars on the Cricut if you don't have a handheld punch it was just easier for me to use the handheld punch um and then you have a bunch of die cuts left over to use for something else if you want to and so um but y'all all have a blessed day and we'll catch y'all later. Hopefully, I'll be back sooner than I have been. It's just been crazy around here. Bye. Love y'all.